Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make this beautiful elegant lady beaded earrings. They are a must wear on special occasions like New Year which is coming soon. If you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't, also like, share and comment and in this way you give me signals to continue and that you like my work. You might also want to check description for useful resources and might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of super dew beads or twin beads, eight in golden color, four per earring and 16 in white color, eight per earring. I'm using also three colors of 11 all seed beads, golden, white and red. These are earring findings and here guys I'm using beading thread which is nail bond. Usually I use nylon nylon thread and I decided to try this one from nail bond they are not paying me to do this. I find it easy to work with although it splits in two and it's a little bit difficult to work with it than Naimo but it's cheaper. Okay here I'm also using size 11 beading needle, you could use also size 12 or 10 whatever is easier for you and I'm also using scissors and flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and what I take first on my needle are four 11 all seed beads and four golden super dual beads or twin beads and I'm alternating them. Okay this is what I have just pause and pick it up. Now I'm going to slide those down and what I want to do here is to make a knot and how I do this I just take my tail thread and make a loop going twice through the loop I've made. I'm showing it slower on purpose so you know what I'm doing and then I make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, then in my next step guys what I want to do is to reinforce this central part of my work by going one more time through all of the beads. Okay and here I'm going through this golden bead. Okay you see I'm exiting out of the golden and what I want to do next guys is go through the other hole of the same golden that I'm exiting out of. It's outer empty hole and when I pull I'm zigzagging through it and I'm changing direction and when I change direction what I want to do is to flip my work like this. It's not obligatory but because I'm right-handed I prefer to go in this direction, it's easier for me. If it's easier for you go in the other direction. And I take a white super dual, a red seed bead and a white super dual and I go in the next empty hole of my next super dual and I pull. Okay, then I take a super dual a seed bead and a super dew. And by the way, if you want to know more about the super dews and the beads in general, I have a playlist that is introduction to beading and I'll post it in description. Okay, and I take the same sequence. And the same sequence. Now here is what I have. In my next step guys what I want to do is to go through the white, red and the white. Okay and then what I do is that again I'm changing direction 
by going through the same super glue but through its other hole like that and now guys i want to continue adding beads but you know it's easier for me if i flip because i'm right-handed as you know i want to cut this tail right here and what i want to do now is take three red beads and go in the next empty hole of my following super doll another three red beads go in the empty hole of the next super doll another three and finish this row guys until the end by adding three beads everywhere and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row here i'm taking three golden beads and as i'm exiting from the first red bead i skip one bead and i go through the following so i'm exiting out of the first thread and then i'm skipping the second and going through the third okay then i want to exit through the first red bead again i take three goldens skip the central red and go through the next red white super do and thread just to save time just to save one movement and i take three again skip the central one and go in the next red white red okay and i will continue the same way and i'll meet you here okay my friends and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row now what i want to do next is go through some beads in this direction and my goal guys is to exit through the golden bead that is sticking out the most okay this one okay my friends and i have here seven seed beads and as i'm exiting from one of the golden beads that are sticking out i'm going in the next one with this seven okay my friends and again i have seven beads and i go in the next bead that is sticking out from the golden ones and i take seven beads again and i repeat this okay and i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll be back okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last seven beads from this row and now what i want to do is go through three of those seven that i added in my previous step then i take three red beads i skip the bead that is on my way which is in fact the middle one of those seven and i pull like this why is it the middle one because here before it i have three beads and after it i have three beads but after i add this three i go only through two not through all of the three that i have after that and i take just one golden then i skip the first go the first white that's on my way after the golden and i go through the next two white beads in this way i'm three white beads away from this golden here again i take three red beads I skip the center and I go through the next two beads. I take just one golden, skip the first white and go through the next two whites. I'm adding three red and skipping the central white that I have here and go through the next two white beads. Then I take just one golden, skip the first white that's on my way from my next sequence of seven and then go through these two 
and here again 3131 and meet me here if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat it until the end okay guys and here i am at my last step and i'm one white bead away from this golden and then i skip the next white like i did before and i'm going through the following two whites okay this is what i have now in my next step, what I want to do is go through these two red beads. In this way, I'm exiting through the middle of those three beads that is sticking out the most. And what I want to take here, guys, are nine golden beads. Okay, nine. And as I'm exiting from this thread, I go in the next thread. Okay. Then again, I take nine beads. Check if there are nine, because otherwise you should go back and redo what you have done. Okay, then again, I take nine beads. And I go in this one here. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm adding here my last nine beads from this row. And then I'm going to start another row. How I do this, I go through two golden beads, take just one golden and skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Skip one and go through the following. It's really easy. You see, I'm forming here something like peyote stitch. If you're not familiar, just follow the steps. Okay, I'm taking just one bead. I skip one and I go through the following. And I pull. Then I take one, skip the one that's on my way. And go through the following two and through the red one that's here in the inner angle. Okay, this is what I have. Then I will repeat absolutely the same thing, guys. I'm going through two beads, taking one golden, skipping the next one, going through the following, and when I pull, you see how the beads zigzag. Then another golden, skip the one that's on my way, and go through the following. And then another, skip the next one and go through the next three beads, two golden and one red, exiting out of the angle. Okay, I repeated it twice. Now I'll show you the third time. Go through two goldens, take just one golden, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Then take one golden, skip the one that's on my way, and go through the following. Take one golden, skip the one that's on my way, and go through the following three. Okay, now this is what I have. And then, guys, I'm going to repeat it until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat, 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 and meet me here okay guys and i'm here where i just added my last seed bead from this row and then i go through all of those beads in this direction and exit here next to the center of my work and then i take a seed bead an earring finding and a seed bead and as i'm exiting from this golden i go in the next golden here Okay, then it's easier for me to turn it in this direction because I want to reinforce my work. I just want to go one more time through this loop here, which is around my earring finding without any thread showing. A 
okay? Okay guys, and I really like this new bond thread. Although it splits as you may see here. But otherwise uh, your work looks good and stiff with it. And uh, now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And it is really inexpensive this thread. Okay, so I go twice through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay guys and now my elegant lady beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't and also like share and comment in this way you give me signals to continue and that you like my work. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.